Hansen, and I am a sculptor. This monument is called Heralding the Dawn. This monument is made of marble from Marble, Colorado, and weighs 14 ton, which is 28,000 pounds, and is 15 feet tall. The two beings that you are seeing here are symbolically imaging the higher aspects of the masculine and the feminine. The masculine is wearing the eagle as his emblem. The eagle represents the messenger between heaven and earth. And this deity, if you would, is protected by a very large wing, which again is very symbolic for that which is otherworldly. So these beings are messengers, symbolic messengers. The large pillar on which they are standing to me represents that which is the pillar of life and has archways in it which represent church or higher religious aspect of learning. The feminine here is seen behind the masculine. The masculine is playing his most beautiful role in, in and as protector and caretaker and looker out for. The coils of the maiden's hair and the large flowing hair represents strength and longevity and um, the greater knowings of life that not only of this world but of other worlds. They share the same body almost it appears. Um, the body of the masculine is the most strong and powerful body so it is a grand pillar to be or a grand vehicle to be carried by and in this aspect symbolically the masculine is carrying her and she is able to look out into the universe if you would and dream dream that which has not yet been dreamed so the title heralding the dawn is the dawn of a new stage of our human evolution and that is what she's bringing back to share with the masculine and of course this is such a complete symbiotic relationship uh, it, the masculine cannot do it without the feminine and vice versa This monument represents higher learning, deeper humanity, and greater community. The greatest role that the masculine and the feminine play, and the eagle as the symbolic overseer.